guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we have Supperman starting as the pink Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Nilsi, aka Monkey Balls, starting as the yellow Protoss. I'm wondering if you went for that name just to hear it commentated like that on screen. Do a little bit of trolling that way. This is on Neil Silphid. It was best of three in the winner's game, but I don't have the other two replays, or maybe they only played one game and felt like, okay, that's fine. We'll move on to the final match because there was an additional opportunity between everything. But whoever wins this will advance. Whoever loses this will get dropped out. Uh, it looks like we did have Nimpo advance to the round of 16 overall. If I recall from previous seasons of Hasu League, Nilsi's PvP was pretty solid. Supperman I haven't seen play a whole bunch, but he does have that Team Urk tag up there, which leads you to believe he's pretty competent in this matchup. So, to make it a little bit more exciting, I'm going to say it's anybody's match. And on a map that uh, Mew Silphid, since it does have... I, it's interesting where I feel like Three Gate Dragoon can play pretty strong against this, because usually you can deal with Three Gate Dragoon with a Reaver, or a Gate Robo, and a Reaver defense, but... Because the gap, it can work either direction depending on positioning, where your Reaver can get, get a little bit exposed in this gap, or it can be where the Dragoons end up funneling into that natural expansion and uh, taken out. Looks like we are going to see a two-gate opener from Nilsi to start. Gateway Simulator on the opposite side from Supperman. We'll see if Supperman opens with an initial Zealot. Probe making its way to the north. It's kind of a hat game once it discovers... The lack of a base knows where to send the zealots. Probe making its way in. Sees the two-gate opener. That should provoke an initial zealot this end. I've seen a variety of defenses. Oh, looks like the cybernetic score was already built. So this is going to be a challenging defense for Supperman. On the ground, the zealots are going to be in the base as that dragoon is mounting. It looks like a little bit of Supperman trying to create a little bit of harassment. Maybe hoping one counter to this soft counter is, is to go for manor pylons in your opponent's main. We do have the assimilator being dropped, which suggests it's only going to be a three zealot initial pressure. That probe taking a flurry of fire there as they're sneaking off the line. Probe for Nilsi returning to home base. Initial Dragoon being constructed. Sometimes they'll see a pylon. So we got one zealot now blockading. Sometimes they'll see a pylon and a shield battery as far as the follow-up. So Mish, the zealot in construction. So three zealots making their way out. Some additional probes can help at that gap as well. But maintaining that gap is huge and negating the initial probe losses basically will declare who's the winner in the early game or not. So three Zealots, the Dragoon, not even going to be able to get there as the initial two Zealots are engaging. So pulling back and giving up that gap. One probe down already. The Zealots should mostly ignore this attack force and just march right to the probe line, which is exactly what they're doing. Create some chaos right there. Disrupting some of the gas. You can see the probes. Oh, one. So two probes down already. Worker lead in Nilsi's favor. That's three probes down. Four probes and just having a field day, actually. Big success. Now opting to go ahead and turn around and engage the Zelts for a moment. But yeah, the follow-up worker count, just a devastating opener now for Supperman. Seven worker lead overall. He's got two Dragoons and a Zealot. He's just going to have to go and try to turn around and go for a counter engagement because that is his one shot at winning the match at this stage. Looks like he wants to try to kill this probe. Maybe he wants to go for a Citadel Dark Templar follow-up. Try to equally equalize things this way, but the worker damages were immense. And it's also going to be one gateway versus two gateway production. So let's see. Robotics facility. So maybe a DT drop. We'll see if it's a Citadel to follow things up. Just going to plug that gap to deny information otherwise. The other thing is, is Nilsi... Not only can he drop all the tech he wants, he can go ahead and grab his natural expansion without too much trouble as well. Supperman 
fanning out the Dragoons to the north, although not in such a position where I think it's going to be, if there is a follow-up scout, where it would fo fool Nilsi. Second gateway planting as well. Superman actually playing this like he wants to go for maybe a two-gate robo option. Nilsi not saving resources to go for that third. He's going to get a robotics facility himself. I assume go for the observer route. Superman now storming out, but going into an inferior attack force. Nilsi actually moving out on the map as well. Depending on the engagement point, if it's on the high ground, maybe that's a way for Superman to get back in this match, but it looks like initial shots there. Cleverly, Nilsi moving back to the tree, which does provide some cover. But supply is very much in Nilsi's favor. Range hasn't been upgraded as well. Robotic support base, so maybe some Reaver drops to follow. Nilsi not doing the best on having the Dragoon spreads. But with his range finished versus Dragoons that don't have range, should be okay engagements here. Two Dragoons down, the Zealots able to mix it up. Four versus three now. The reinforcements have halted, though. Okay, now getting re-engaged. But at the very least, able to confirm that there's no natural expansion. So Supperman, if he was planning on going for a natural catch-up game, that was that. And now just shredded on troops. So he needs a miracle with an initial reaver, and it's going to be a while before an initial reaver's out. Third gateway tacking on, observatories there. There are honestly enough dragoons that I don't... Yeah, and ooh, Supperman's also in the red here. Nothing going right for him this game. So Nilsi leaving a bit of a crew to deny that natural expansion rather than storming forward. Fanning out with the leftover Dragoons looking for a drop. I assume the shuttle's just going to not even bother engaging this natural expansion and it's just going to go ahead and wander out. Nexus warping in for Nilsi as well. Worker lead has actually declined a bit, but it's still substantial. So the Reaver, let's see if it takes a pot shot at the front before trying to go out and make something happen. Yeah, I'm going to take an initial shot there. A little bit of a tech lead for Supperman. At the very least, he'll be able to reclaim the territory outside of his natural. If he micros this carefully. Taking, and as I say that, the shuttle gets wiped out with the Reaver in it. That's GG. Yeah, he needed to micro that carefully, and that was not that. So game one goes to Nilsi. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.